is Joanne, and as we are all well aware, we have a lot of options in today's society, meaning we have to make decisions day in and day out, and sometimes those decisions are trivial, sometimes they're a lot more serious. Uh, today's book, we will talk about that in just a minute, how it helps us understand how we decide. One thing I do happen to like to decide upon is whether I listen to a book on audio or read it in book format. And today's book I happen to listen to on audio as I did with this author's first book. Um, there are some books that are just sort of irritating when I don't have the option. Um, there's one in particular that, boy, I would love to hear this one on audio, but I, I can't, can't remember the name of it, but I'll let you know if it uh, pops into my mind a little later. So anyway, uh, the first book by this author, Jonah Lehrer, who is a very talented young man who um, has wonderful writing skills, obviously, and knows a lot about neuroscience, was the book called Proust was a Neuroscientist, and Proust um, wrote this wonderful little story about the Madeline, and when he took a bite into it, he describes vividly uh, the rush of memories back into his head, and so what Joan Alera did was to use that story as uh, the jumping off point to discuss scientific neurological studies about memory and what parts of the brain are, is responsible for that and the players in understanding memory in the human um, species. Um, he also calls upon uh, Wolf and Whitman and George Eliot and um, Escoffier and Cezanne and Stravinsky, all of these wonderful artists across various fields to pull out something we, we know about ourselves but neuroscience is actually highlighting where this happens in the brain and in what order these um, different events occur in the, in the brain. So I found this book to be a wonderful companion on my multiple drives down to St. Louis's Barnes Hospital when my mom was having uh, shoulder surgery. So again, uh, just my, my favoritism for audiobooks. Um, I like to multitask if at all possible. Today's book again by Jonah Lehrer, How We Decide, um, I listened to while I was painting a room for many, many hours, and I just let the time go by very quickly. Um, this book, instead of calling upon famous artists, he called upon um, real-life scenarios where people have to make important decisions, like, you know, uh, where to throw the football at in a major football game, um, what happens when you choke in um, opera, and uh, things like um, how are we going to fight this blaze and land this plane? What kind of decisions are people making when they use credit cards or purchasing something, um, something simple as strawberry jam or something more complex like a car? Um, these, all of these uh, processes require decision making, but some decisions work better if you use the, the more primitive part of your brain, the limbic system, that gut reaction to make a decision, an intuitive decision, and some decisions require more full reasoning uh, from your frontal cortex. And some types of decision making actually work best if you use a little bit of both. And by the end of the book, you're pretty well versed in what type of decision requires what type of thinking. And so it's in a way it's thinking about how you think, thinking about how you make your decisions to make your best decisions. I really, really enjoyed this book and I found myself listening to it and like his first book there's sometimes a little teaser about the science and then he launches into the scenario which can often be quite long. It's very detailed and very richly described um, and then he goes into this more fuller um, discussion of the type of science. Sometimes I think the subtitle of this book should be the wonders or the miracles of fMRI and understanding how uh, we function because the functional MRI functional magnetic resonance imaging is, uh, plays prominently in this particular book. It helps us understand what parts of the brain lighting up at any given time, including, you know, the amygdala or the insula or the anterior cingulated cortex and things like that. And actually, what I would have loved in this book, but that's just me because I sort of, a fan of neuroscience would be a brain, uh, a portrait, a picture of a brain, diagram of a brain with arrows pointing to hey, this part lights up here, this part lights up here, you know, this one's more important in this type of reasoning, this type of decision making. That would have been pretty cool, but I understand why in popular science book did not put something like that. But I found myself listening to this book and, you know, sometimes going, oh, Jonah, 
the, the scenario is going on so long. Why are you making a woman like me wait for my science? But um, you held my attention, and I was greatly rewarded for my patience in the end. So I definitely enjoyed both of these books. I highly recommend both of them. But let's just hold up today How We Decide by Jonah Lehrer. As you can tell, my top model doll now has a new author crush on Jonah Lehrer. So thank you all for listening. Um, bye.